Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the new safe bar. We're jumping back in again and we're going to go as the deleted once again this time around. We'll see which version we want to go off. We can probably just go as the I love you version, which is just the uber powerful one that has basically no downsides. Um, so why the hell not? Let's see. Um, we want to go as I love you, is it? Uh, red hearts only, corrupted items no longer have negative effect. Yeah, let's just go with this one. We also get charm tears off the bat, which is kind of nice. Um, I mean, obviously it's not super powerful, but... Charm tears is something interesting. I still remember, um, it's, it's like a core memory at this point. I still remember, um, have, uh, watching Northern Lion's very first episode of Rebirth when Rebirth came out. And, uh, he picked up, um, Mum's eyeshadow and was like, Charm was like brand new. It was, it wasn't in Isaac Classic, um, like Flash Isaac. And he picked up and he was like, it was like, ooh, that's gonna be so powerful. And I was like, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, he picked it up and was immediately like, oh, that's going to be so good. And I was like, ugh, oh, you sweet summer child. No, it's not. Ooh, I, I, I like the idea of this, like, a battle royale little area here. Okay, these two can't quite reach each other, unfortunately. But yeah, as always with uh, the good old deleted, um, I'm not going to be bit flipping literally everything as I just should. I'm not, I didn't bit flip, um, didn't bit flip this, uh plank of wood thing because it's just some items are just too good to bit flip it and we need we need like a base level of decent stats and stuff to make sure that we can take some wackier items without them being too detrimental to us and now i realize obviously we don't have negative effects we're not gonna get anything crazy detrimental but there is still good effects that can be bad um so we still we still got a lot of play around that being the case I'm not going to take a pill here because a health down would be a crushing blow and so would a tears down right now can't be bothered with any of that pizzazz. Anyways, as for the question of the day to day. Hmm. I need more of these. Oh god, the fucking fire on these guys. What's an accident that you, like what what's something that you've done an accident that actually ended up being really good? By the way, uh, yet again, I I mention this every few weeks, but I realize I haven't been replying to comments in a little while. Um, I just, I've been busy and it, the, it's one of those things where it's like, if I leave it for a few days, it stacks up and then it's like, it takes me like an hour to get through them all. And then it's like, well, I don't have an hour. So I end up leaving them even longer. And by then it's going to take two hours and then three hours. And it's like, oh my God, I've put, I've, I've dug myself a hole. So normally I just end up trying to find myself like a quiet time where I can just go and reply through, through them all. But as they're, as they're coming in, I do still try to read the vast majority of them. So I've still seen the comments. It's just actually going through and replying to them is the obviously bit that takes the most time. Where the hell's that item room? I thought we've seen everywhere. Where the hell's that item room at? <laughs> Must be attached to here, right? Okay, we've we not been through here maybe? Okay, there you go. There you go. Get you out of the way. I'm loving having this extra fire rate right now. It's very nice. Cool. Oh, I, I just... I'm sorry, but... I can't not take Deadeye. Come on now. I can't not take Deadeye. It's just too good to not take. We'll start flipping stuff when it makes sense, but right now we've got to take the beauty that the game befalls upon us. This is like such a good baseline for a run. Double damage, good fire rate. I will not be displeased. And there's plenty of bad slash mediocre items we can flip coming up, I'm sure. Like this one. Yeah, there you go. Um, on item, get this. Get some damage as well. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but we'll do that anyways. And we'll go down to the next floor. Obviously, red hearts would be nice um, with a character that can only take red HP, but I felt like I had to take a corrupted item on the first floor. So we got whatever this trinket is. Um... I think, in, in fact, let me see if I can take a little look here. If I go over to um, Fiend Folio Wiki, I'm pretty sure it's a, a trinket from our rock boy. Where's trinkets? Where's all our rock trinkets? Okay, here we go. So let's see. What does it look like? What does it look like? It looks kind of like a bag with a rope on it. So let's try and find that, shall we? And see what that actually does. Where are you, bag with rope? Where are you? It might not even be a, a golem trinket, but I think it is. It looks like one. It looks like one. Hmm, I'm not seeing it so far. Oh, here we go. 
Change yield. Destroyed rocks have a 40% chance to break other adjacent rocks. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of decent. It's not anything super impressive, but it's useful nonetheless. Reasonably happy with that. Reasonably happy with that. And that, we're going to get one of those every time we gain an item. I have a feeling that's not going to matter having multiple of them, but it might. Oh, that was a very bad hit, but I'm not really looking to, to go to Devil Deal or Angel Deal that much anyways. Angel Deal, obviously, more so, but... I'm not that bothered about losing them. I'm more bothered about getting closer and closer to death than anything. We'll be wanting to avoid that. Don't care for you, you little shits. You. And you. Oh, dude, this extra damage from Deadeye is just bombastic. It's very, very nice. Oh, come on now. Let's not die on this god run. I won't say it's a god run, but you know what I mean. Uh, old dice can be used to reroll the current item being picked up into a random passive. Does nothing if you are not picking up an item. If eh, we'll reroll that. Gain six of whatever those wisps. Each planetarium. Okay. Wait, what? These are just regular wisps. I've been scammed. These aren't chainsaw wisps at all. There's some rocks breaking. Lovely. I don't know why some rocks are just breaking as I walk into the rooms now. That's kind of intriguing. Good. Things are going well, though. Things are going well. I'm just a little... My HP is the only sort of real worry we have right now. Look at that lag. Them fires are just horrible. <laughs> Griddlehorn boy. Still don't know how I insta-killed you that one time, but... Someone in the comments will maybe know. But me, I do not know. Okay, nice and easy kill on that guy. And this is something I will take, because just big tears up seems good. Size down is whatever. So maybe um, having multiple of these does something. Let, let me say, check what the uh, thingy bonus is, the geode bonus. Geode bonus. Adjacent rocks have a 70% chance to break, along with 20% chance to pit, for pits to fill in. I think a ge uh, the geode bonus is when you have more than one of them. So maybe that's why they were auto-breaking. I'm not 100% sure. This guy's going to be well annoying. Okay, looks like we got him. Okay, we should be slightly more protected on our HP now because of um, because of the good old extra wisps we have going on. That should help out a good amount. Ooh, a golden bomb, you say. Good old golden bomb. I mean, we've already got a trinket out of it. I feel like that's pretty good going. I will throw my golden bombs wherever I see fit. Mainly into enemies. Good. Secret room. Lovely. Might as well bomb this guy, see what we get. Literally, literally nothing. Soul hearts here, by chance? Oh no. A devil deal teleport. I was not expecting this, and I'm a little upset about it, because <laughs> everything in here is kind of not great for us. So I think I'm going to take, we need to go deeper, because it's just good. Um, and I'm going to see if either of these give me HP. Nah, they don't. Sadly, they do not. Okay, so we've put ourselves in a rough spot here, but gaining this is good. Each room, instead of dying once, okay, that's pretty good. That helps. We've now got an extra life. I wish the extra life actually showed up in the top left and told you how many you had. That'd be useful. That would be useful. Can't have everything we want, sadly. But this run's pretty good so far. We get this Hypno Ring. Do we get more than one of them? Okay, they do stack until we get hit. Nice. I don't know if that does anything for us, them stacking, but... It's at least something. 
Okay, cool. And yeah, having the shovel to be able to get a crawl space every floor is pretty good. I'd probably rather take in, like, Eye of the Occult or something if I had the HP to take it, but obviously we did not. And we can't just summon HP out of nowhere. But the, the sleeping thing is actually really good. I really like the uh, Hypno Ring. I think it's quite powerful. Being able to essentially negate an enemy from, from running at you is super, super useful. Yeah, so when we enter a room, there's like a small chance for a rock to just break. And then every like rock next to it also has a chance to break. So we've got this sort of potential chance for chain reactions. Now, Belly Jelly is something that I'm straight up just going to take. Because, yet again, really goddamn good item. And um, I can't afford to take something that's going to potentially stop me from taking uh, damage. A fire is so nutty right now. Why has this gone up to like six? When, when did that happen? Check in here real quick for a soul heart. Uh, actually, soul hearts don't matter. We can't take soul hearts. Um, every seven rooms, get ten what so and every kill, five percent chance to use. Oh, I need that so goddamn badly. It's gonna be fucking chaos. Every kill, a five percent chance to smell four trinkets. Remove it now. That sounds like absolute chaos. <laughs> that sounds like absolute chaos. And I love a good bit of chaos. We are climbing up there with the Hypno Rings. Um, no trinkets there that I care for, really. Go, fella. I love the fact that if you charm them right before they shoot, they just don't do anything. Right, boss time. We do have unlimited bombs here, so this shouldn't be too hard. We did get Spindle as well here, so we can go for the shock disc. Not too bad, not too bad. Health, please. No health. Why not? Down to the next floor. Oh, yeah. I'm interested to see how this ends up going with the trinkets getting smelted. It's going to be a real wacky time, I bet. A real wacky time. Especially when there's like a bunch of flies and stuff. Ah, that was unfortunate. I think I can do this, though. Good, good. I can do. Get that out of the way. Like that. Like that. And then just take it, I guess. Common cold. Not bad. So we're not really going to be. There's not much point in deleting stuff on this floor because we're just not going to know what we're getting. Uh, of using the bit flip is what I mean by deleting stuff, not literally deleting it. No poop for you, good sir. No poop for you. Now, this is looking a bit risky, but remember, we do have an extra life. That run out. No, thank you. That's not that I can get that golden bomb right now, but in the future. So, if I just, if I just like, leave and enter rooms. Okay, no. It's not going to work that way. I was wondering if I could just destroy all the rocks by constantly leaving and re-entering. Like, hit here, if I just... Nah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Which is a shame. I have a lot of Hypno Rings right now. They will all disappear when I get hit, though, I believe. Still not had um, the 5% chance trigger yet. But its time will come. Its time will come. I'm hoping this is some HP up. Not, but it is good. Ooh, I like the fact that we can sleep you. That's very, very nice. If 
That, yeah, just turns into a red heart. Kind of expected that. Oh, god damn. I did not expect that. Right, extra spider. Soul heart just turns into a red heart. Gonna need some red HP pretty soon, game. So I lost a major amount of my Hypno Rings. I think having additional Hypno Rings was giving me higher chance for the Hypno Ring to proc, by the way. Because it was proccing like all the time we had a ton of them. This could be a room where we get some tr smelted trinkets here. Let us see, let us see. No, still no smelted trinkets. Hmm. Strange. I love our fat little body with jelly belly. Beautiful. <laughs> I love the way that I charmed him and he just instantly changed direction. There we go. There we go. Oh wait. That was that was more than four. That was eight. Gemini. Wait, we popped some mushrooms apparently. Oh, these ones over here. We've also got this. Oh fuck, we got the the goddamn super magnet <laughs> smelted onto us. That's gonna be fun. We've also got the tick smelted onto us too. At least we have Spectral now. Spectral is very nice to have. We also have higher chance for reflected stuff now, which is good. Ow, it was a very, very bad hit by me there. I don't really know what I was doing. Phantom Battery. Not particularly great with our current active. I'm not quite sure what this uh, chalk thing's doing, but I'll of course keep it. Good stuff. Nice and easy there. Blended heart. Cat and nine tails. Of course, he is going to be pointless. We, there's nothing we can possibly take. Okay, down we go. So yeah, unfortunately getting a getting that curse just completely ruins everything with this character. Quickly pop that open. We do have the siren song here, siren's call. I will just take that, it's pretty good. Oh my god, I character. This is like a fan art worthy character right here. Look at this chunky boy. I love this. Absolutely love it. Dude, football boy, football boy. You chill out. God damn, we got all load of reflected items too from our uh, mirror trinket. Right, things are going well though. This run's pretty good. Hey, there's there's a bunch more. We got top rock, which I think is a bunch of stats until we next get hit. We also got crutch, which is very good. Again, strong herming on tier affected ones, which is our hypno ring tiers. Good stuff, I'd say. It's good stuff. There's another one. Oh ho ho. I love runs like this where you manage to smell a bunch of trinkets, because it's just so rare. Yeah, I'm liking the crutch giving us crazy good herming. I think it also gives a damage boost too or something. It's all good. It's all good. We've not been to the item room yet. It's probably going to be back the other way. And keep flying this way, though. 
I think we do have that thing that makes bosses more difficult, though. Wooden Cross, nice. Wooden Cross is very nice here. We already lost it, but overall it's very nice. Um, every seven minutes, get tears up, get onion. Um, okay, that's pretty good. There's another one. Oh, we got Mum's Turnail. Obviously, there's just so many potentially bad trinkets to grab. But things like Mum's Turnail are going to show up from time to time. Care Skull. That's another one that's not great. M. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. Might as well just use that now. Could have used it on the next floor, I guess, but what the hell. This run has gotten very spicy, and we are already quite close to death. We've not really gained any HP. So, one swift step could bring this to a grinding halt pretty quickly. Well, hope not, but nothing we can do to stop it, really. Don't even know what happened there. Apparently I got hit. I I don't I don't see how. I don't see where, but apparently we did get hit. I don't know why we teleported either. Is that something to do with cursed skull maybe? Who knows? Either way, it's beautiful. There you go. Bunch more coming in. <laughs> it's so many. Dirty Mine is interesting. We'll see what the bit flip is. Cool. Away we go. Stomp away on The problem is in the mum fight. Like, she just stomps on us. <laughs> I don't think it's random. Right. Away we go. We have a, also have a sleepy time book as well, so even more sleeping. I love runs like this. I mean, the risk is a bit scary, but otherwise I do love runs like this. The risk factor is high. We did, we do, I think, technically have a revive, but it's it's hard to know if it actually work or not. This isn't even mum. I thought it was. Now, this guy is a bit of a pain with the sleeping going on. Apparently, I managed to reroll my uh, active into nothing. Thank you for stepping on him. HP, finally. Oh, more HP there as well. Okay. Wait, what? I picked up two HP upgrades and I'm, I'm confused what happened there. I only gained one HP out of two HP upgrades. Anyways, it's good to have gotten those. It's put us in a better spot. I don't know why we're firing tears in random directions now. Probably one of our trinkets did that. God knows which one. It's all got a little bit confusing now. Oh, we got wooden cross as well. Nice. A little bit of safety. There's some more. Oh, we got Cern Bond. That's always fun. Twins is good. Cancer. Triple A battery. Alien transmit a bunch more there. Thank you for the free trial finally ending. That was getting kind of annoying. You watch, we'll get a trinket that makes it so we can't heal red hearts at some point, won't we? we we'll get something that just ruins everything. <laughs> hey, the alien. World is pretty nice for the next floor. <laughs> this is such a fun run. I'm loving this. It's not even as laggy as I would have thought either. It's not perfect by any means, but like, con con like considering the amount of items and stuff we've got going on here, I thought it would have been worse. 
Effigy is really good. Oh, for fuck's sake. For Effigy is really good, but I'd rather bit flip it. Instead of dying once. Okay, nice. We got another potential revive here. Another revive. Puts us in a good spot. We got an item in this room. Apparently, it's a Psy Fly. Okay. I think I'll take Psy Fly, I'll be honest. Re realistically, I should be looking at what the. Re Reversed versions of them are prior, because there's no downside, so it's not a bad thing to do. We're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of procs on this here. There's going to be a lot of trinkets coming our way, I think. <laughs> it just keeps going. Finally stopped. What a fun active to get as a glitched effect. God damn, I love it. Apparently I can take both of these, I don't know why. Devil disc. Don't think I want any of those. Because my health is very precious right now. Don't know where the bag of bobbies came from. The world. I'm guessing it's from the the negative disc or whatever I took. The devil disc. They're all fucking reflected. Why? Do we have broken fucking remote? <laughs> Fuck's sake, I think we have broken remote in there. That's gonna be fucking annoying. Yeah, we definitely have broken remote in here somewhere. Well, guess Buck went to Pipe Dream. I have died. I should come back. No. See, this is the problem with these. Um, on death, instead do this things. Half the time, they just don't work, and I don't know why. But anyways, I feel like that was kind of bound to happen. I feel like just to, just for the longevity of this run, we're going to rewind that and see if we can live a little longer. Um, just to have a bit more fun with this. Because these runs are only to mess around. In fact, do you know what I'll do? I'll give myself... Um, one-up. No, um, is it one-up? Yeah. I'll give myself a one-up. If I could type. Because, so I had two revives. I just died once, so I've got one revive left. Every time I get an item that says, instead, do a revive, I'm just going to give myself a one-up so that I actually do get a revive. Let's, let's say that, shall we? So we've expended one of our revives, we have one left. So let's see what these do first. Um... So that one's... It didn't mean to pick it up. Delete that. I'll take that as well, why not? Right, down we go. Didn't mean to pick up that first one. Probably would have rather had the damage, but... Whatever. Shop disc. We have the cat's eye that shows us a ton of the map, which I really like. Do you know what? teleport me somewhere else. That was the wrong way. We got the twins again, by the, apparently, there. Some trinkets we're just not gaining anymore, and I think that's because we already have them. Ends up straight back in this room I tried to escape from before. God damn it. I wanted to leave this place. This, yeah, this this run's too fun to just let die to something like that. Especially when we're, like, not even that far into the video. If we're, like, 50 minutes in, I'd feel a bit more okay about leaving it off there, but... 20-something minutes in, come on now. Gotta let us have some fun with this. The power of the trinkets is epic. Dude, 
What the fuck is all the spicy keys? It's just nothing but spicy keys in every room. Trinkets make you uber powerful. You heard it here first, folks. Well, that is a free brimstone. It's technically not free. It costs us a bunch of broken hearts, but I feel like it's basically free. Right. Up we go. That's, I think the reason that was there is from one of our trinkets. I'm guessing I have quite a few rainbow trinkets mixed in here as well, which is why we're uh, seeing all sorts of wiggly wavy boys. The only problem is I keep getting trinkets and it's stopping me from firing. <laughs> Dude, the amount of spicy keys, goddamn. Oh, this is funny. I'm loving this. I like the fact that we have Cern Bond as well, so all of our familiars are still firing all this stuff. I just teleported back into the room I was just in. Don't really know if I'm that into actually using my active, to be honest. It's a bit annoying. Oh, J J Jelly Belly just saved me some f from some really stupid damage there, so thank you, Jelly Belly. Spicy keys are a genuine danger to me at the moment. Beautiful stuff. We're doing good damage. Dead Eye's doing its thing. Nice. Probably two more phases of this, right? Oh no, we got it in one. We got it in one. That is really nice. Right. Let's see what we get from our chests. Last chance to get some cool bit flips going on. By the way, apparently this was reworked recently. Tears have high knockback, but you also get knockback from firing them. It got, it got kind of reworked. So that doesn't matter. Um, instead of dying once, so we get another revive there. On hit, 3% chance to use Algis. Uh, that's pretty pointless. I'll take this, whatever this is. The rest of these things I'll just take as they are. Yeah, so it knocks us back as we go, but not crazy amounts like before. Good old child's hat. We can see where we're going, so I'm not really worrying too much. Oh god, I got tricked by the foot then. I thought that's where the uh, thingy was landing. Yeah, see, I just pushed myself back through that door because I've got the uh, door stop. I keep pushing myself back through the door. That's so funny. But yes, at the minute I've got the most trinkets possible. Another Cern Bond, another Cancer. Yeah, whenever it gives me the same one, it, like, it can select the same trinket more than once, but it doesn't actually give me it more than once. Which is a little annoying. Be, I'd rather it just give me it more than once. Imagine getting multiple of a cancer trinket. It'd be pretty sick. Yeah, like, so many of these we already have. Explains why we teleported when we got hit now, because we've got Panic Button mixed in there somewhere. I kind of forgot Panic Button existed. Good, good. I'm still spawning trinkets I can't fire. I could get hit once in the midst of all this.
Oh, that's a copper blood bomb. That looks really cool. I was wondering why it looks different. But I have to do this without getting hit, because if I get hit, I uh, teleport. I like the way this guy's just been literally permanently asleep, and I don't think I can deal damage to him while he's asleep. There you go. Yep. Had a feeling that was going to happen. Ooh, there's a strength card there. I should probably take that in with me. This is going to be a slightly rage-inducing fight, I'd say. Okay, well, I've almost died. And apparently my 1-up is gone. I'll be honest. Don't know how or where that went. If I die now, though, I'll accept it for what it is. Um, I currently have zero hearts. Did you see that? <laughs> For a hot minute there, I had literally no health. Look at all the electricity. <laughs> this is pretty beautiful, this. What is this? What the hell? I think I've got Cursed Penny in there too. Fuck. Also, where did I get the Hellfire item from? Goddamn foot. So, there is a heart in here I can grab, but I can't grab any of the pennies. I'm getting rotten hearts for everything at the moment, which isn't ideal. Morbid hearts, real nice. Right, we've made it back. Aw, oh, dude. Copper bombs are so goddamn annoying. Dude, stop hitting me. Fuck's sake. Luckily, my active isn't charged, so it can't teleport me. I don't know what's happening to the bombs as I throw them, but the game is not in agreement with whatever it's doing. Okay, well, that was chaotic, but a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.